Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 1 and we are looking at the next topic of this chapter that is 1.6 the test implementation. So far we are done with the other topics like analysis and design so if it is uh, that you have missed it please uh, have a look on those things which will help you to understand the pattern of this tutorial and how we are going proceeding with the same. When you talk about the test implementation, it's just the next stage of the test process as we know from the foundation level where we have been through the test analysis, test design. We are done preparing the test cases, whereas if you remember the activities of the test implementation, we generally have core activities as like prioritizing the test cases, rearranging the test cases, preparing the test suites out of test cases, or probably uh, you know writing the test ca execution schedule, uh, making sure that the uh, environment is ready, the traceability metrics have been fulfilled, or deciding on the automation part where you generally prepare your test script during the implementation phase. So as you see the entire thing put together, is basically to make sure that it is a readiness check that you are ready to go with execution or is there anything which is still remaining to be checked before you get into the execution so at this point of time the test analyst plays a really vital role to understand and fulfill the needs of the team and the testers to see if there is anything else required by the other stakeholders or maybe from the previous stage anything is remaining or should be done at any point of time to uh, fulfill the needs of the execution so that we don't have to stop during execution and come back to a previous stage uh, recall the activities revoke the activities and conduct so those activities again and then go back to execution which would kill a lot of time for us and also synchronization would be lost so there are a lot of drawbacks if you miss that so at this point of time it is recommended for a test analyst to make sure that the previous stage that is uh, maybe the test design or test analysis exit criteria have been met and all the necessary test items or items of the you know checklist have been prepared the environment is ready and several things which are supposed to be done is done at the same time the uh, input could be from the point of uh, grouping the test cases like prioritizing so what kind of strategy are you following is it a risk based strategy is it uh, analytical or kind of like consultative so based on that uh, the test cases will be further uh, you know prioritized what kind of consideration you have taken into uh, you know uh, consideration uh, which would be helpful to you for you to determine the priority and the execution schedule because if you see internally we do have got uh, different uh, dependencies which are involved uh, within the priorities uh, which will be topped up uh, with those to the priority of determining a test case execution order Further, if you talk about uh, the test analyst coordination with the stakeholders, the like development team, to make sure that the uh, code will be available on time as soon as you move out of implementation, the next stage is execution. So will the code be available at that point of time when we are ready with the execution so that the test case can be executed and the test test results will be monitored. If what if like the test uh, code is not available, then of course that would be a challenge again. When you look at the further things, of course, uh, the test data becomes a critical uh, thing to be taken care of uh, because execution needs a lot of uh, test data at some point of time. And of course, test analysts make sure that all the test data has been prepared. If not, test analyst basically creates a lot of data for the automation if you have opted automation for your execution at any point of time. So generally we have different frameworks in automation like data driven framework, keyword driven framework, hybrid framework. So for these kind of frameworks the test data will be prepared by a test analyst within the organization and provided to the automation testers as an external sheets or maybe probably maintained or managed in uh, MS Excel. Further uh, environment readiness check of course will be done by the test analyst to make sure that the environment which we were supposed to design has been set up or not and if there's anything else, else is remaining to be done should be done. So we should make sure that a fit for purpose test environment is available. That means it's just not that you have to create an environment and you just created it. It's just it's, it's, it's more important to make sure that an adequate set of environment is being prepared which is really suitable for the execution which you are going to do. 
also it is important for the uh, the team not only limited to these kind of things also you know there are a lot of other things which we cannot just feed into the entire slide here like for example you're talking about the defect management test management configuration management any kind of those uh, uh, tools which you're going to use so whether the tools are ready or not tools are available or not have we borrowed the licenses uh, bought the licenses for how many users so setting up the uh, necessary support for the testware is equally important the templates have been introduced uh, so that the results can be logged accordingly so there are many such minute things which will be taken care by a test analyst at any point of time during this test implementation so putting it all together is that a test analyst just make sure that everything what we were supposed to do before getting into the execution is done and further what we would need to have to perform our execution activity smoothly we do have it and we have implemented those activities so when you talk about implementation this is what we have I think you are very much clear with the implementation or role of a test analyst during test implementation within a test process so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be coming back quickly with another tutorial so stay tuned for that in case you have any queries feel free to comment below I'll be there to assist you further beyond the explanation what we have in the tutorial till then keep learning keep understanding and keep exploring about the context thanks for watching the video team happy learning